all of creative energy. She keeps pushing these these drawings and these sketches and these paintings that she does both in hand and on line with her computer and stuff and it's just really really awesome mm -hmm. and it's getting a lot of attention right now so I'm really really happy to have her on board and I just discovered today that she's a musician um, she had these songs that she had demoed and kept them you know away from the public ear I suppose and she just released them today the and everybody was like wow these are incredible songs why haven't you showed this to anybody and Where so can I find that at? Um, honestly, I found this on her Facebook. On her Facebook. Um, but she has she has a Facebook page, mm -hmm. just Amber Zuniga, and then she has a Tumblr page that has probably a more obscure URL. But we can talk about that after. Yeah, we gotta get her in here. Yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> all of them, they're all great. I know Travis is. He's displaying at STC, uh, the week before. He's gonna have a whole display and gallery set up just focused on him and the Tough Town guys. They've um, displayed recently um, at the art house off 10th Street in Laurel, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. So, after Galaxy Fair, I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but for sure, after Galaxy Fair, I'm sure you've got massive plans, like first off, taking a nap or something, and then, <laughs> you know, the next big thing, just, mm -hmm. you know, a little foreshadowing, a little bit of hype there. For sure. Um, yeah, I... I'm probably going to hit up South by Southwest for a day or two. I like to go up there and network with people, meet people. A lot after of, the nap, right? Yeah, this, this okay. will be after the big nap, of course. Looking forward to that. Um, for sure. And um, I'll do that. And really, I'm going to let Galaxy Fair kind of just go back into its, its cave and hibernate for three or four months. But I do have some events after that. I've got... Um, King Kong, the King Kong and Barbecue Show on April 25th that I'm very, very excited for because that's been a band I've been trying to work with for about two or three years now. And um, I finally was able to get them for a Thursday date, which is not a weekend, but it's still, it's still a Thursday. And so that's going to be my next concentration. So. Okay, so Galaxy Fair 2 yes. at the historic St. El Rey yes, sir. this March 11th. Which is a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. It's a Monday. Okay. It's a Monday. It's going to be at the Thirsty Monkey and Cena El Rey. You got a ton of bands that are going to be showing. Uh, who are the local people? Um, locals, we have Jungle Bodies. Jungle Bodies. Ah, um, Andy. Yeah, Andres. <laughs> he, he's going to be playing. Um, they're actually. They're on to some good stuff. They've, they're getting a lot of attention out of Austin. Um, I know Threadpool Records recently just expressed major, major interest in them. Yeah. They're playing. South by Southwest, they're playing showcases mm -hmm. at South by. Like they were invited. They, I mean, that that's a Whoa. big deal. So they're yeah. playing multiple, and they're they're probably going to play more. So that's great. Mm -hmm. And um, the other local band that I have on there that I'm really excited about um, is this very very young young band called the Sad Campers, and um, they've got this drummer that's amazing, and uh, they she sings and plays drums at the same time and. It's just great. It's like this no frills sort of garage punk sort of beast that's still forming itself. Um, but those are going to be the locals. I have one more spot that I'm going to announce next week with another local. So nice, mm -hmm. great job, man, great job. For sure. So anytime you got an event, our station is your station. You want to come promote something? Just let us know. Absolutely. You got some new music you want to promote? By all means, just let us know. Great, man. great. No, for, yeah, for sure. Um, I would love to. You're and welcome here anytime, man. No, for sure. Thank you for having me. Seriously. All right, guys. Thank you very much. You guys are listening to the City ninety-seven point seven KCYP. I am the infamous Zach Cantu, joined by Samantha Beltran and Rosie the Rock. Oh boy, that yeah, name's right. gonna but, uh, stick. That name is gonna stick, just like the other one that we're not gonna speak of on the no. air. No. That not one's Jordan, bad. Yeah, yeah, that one's bad. That one's not radio friendly. No. But uh, thank you very much. This is, uh, let's see, we got Patrick Garcia of uh, tigersblood.org doing Galaxy Fair. It's going to be at the historic Cena El Rey out on 17th Street. It's also going to be at the Thirsty Monkey March 11th starting at 5, and it's going to go all night, baby. Just like in the end. You get it? You see what I did there? Yeah, no. Uh -huh. um. <laughs> get out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So let's see, before I forget anything else, um, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on tigersblood.org, uh, galaxyfair.com, 
Um, I'm usually pretty liberal with my Facebook, so you can add me there. Sure. Um, and those would be the three best sources of getting a hold of me, just either through either the websites or through your standard Facebook message. Okay, sweet. Tickets are available at Mel Hearts yes. and I forgot the other two places. Uh, they're available, if you want to get a hold of a physical ticket, you can pick them up at Mel Hearts Music or Fallback Records, which are both locally owned businesses. Or if you want to get your ticket online, you can get them through galaxyfair.com, uh, which is a ticketfly.com representative, so it's, it's safe. Thank you very much for staying with us. You guys are listening to The City, giving you the keys to the city, your indie alternative, 97.7 KCYP.